Thanks for checking out my Riverside.fm review. This software is going to allow you to create your best content yet, and you can click the link in the description to try them for free. That will allow you to start creating podcasts, video interviews, social media clips, transcriptions, webinars, video marketing, AI show notes, and captions. Let's move on to the dashboard, and I'll give you a demo and highlight some of their biggest features. All right, and hello there. I love doing my reviews in the dark. I am secretly a vampire. Nevertheless, this is going to be the studio when it comes to setting it up. It's very straightforward. Yours truly here is going to be the host. For this, I just turned off the microphone for the uh, Riverside specifically. I didn't want it to have like double microphone action going on, but of course, you'd probably want to utilize that. We've got video here, and let's do join studio. You can also join as a producer if needed, but let's click right here. All right, and so here I am, much bigger and almost a little bit of like pixelation as you can see. It doesn't look like it's the best quality, but don't worry. As it talks about pretty much all throughout Riverside is that when you go to do any type of export or when you're done, the uh, quality is going to be much better. But first impressions when I initially kind of test this out, it looks very similar to say if you're using or running a webinar and that's a good thing. Webinars are fantastic if you're doing online marketing. Something I think you're gonna like here though is gonna be the live stream aspect. So. What you can do is live stream the social, stream your next session to your social media platform. So you can get more traffic just by doing that. Of course, if you have a presence on those social media platforms, you can also go live on Riverside. So just right here is going to be a nice way to get some more traffic. A lot of the other things here are going to be business as usual. It's more so about clicking on the specific aspect that you want to change or utilize. And of course, kind of making your edits. There is going to be an aspect here when it comes to chat which once again kind of reminds me of the webinar environment. We have brand here in case you want to make this look very shiny. Add your logo. I'm not going to go through and do that. You obviously can when you have obviously your logo, brand colors, and so on and so forth. I usually skip over the aesthetic stuff when it comes to doing reviews. You know how to do that. It's pretty straightforward, but you can do that if you want as well. A section for layouts if you want to change them around, and of course, media and text if going to be needed. Okay. Aside from that, of course, inviting people, very straightforward. One of the most important things you're going to be doing, right? So if you have a guest that you're going to be speaking to one on one, this is going to be the link that you copy and give to them. If you have an audience, you're going to click there, copy link, or you can invite by email. It's really up to you, but that's going to be the process. Everything else is pretty straightforward. If you see a button that you want to click, click it to use it like recording, obviously turning on the mic. There's also going to be a section here with scripts. So if you want to use a teleprompter, that can be very beneficial. So you can actually read from the screen and make sure you don't miss everything that you need to say. So that's a very quick overview of the studio. Pretty straightforward and uh, I like it overall. All right, so we rolled out the red carpet. Now there's gonna be plenty of AI tools that you can utilize when it comes to your recordings. Not just for podcasts, but maybe like video editing, video creation. And I'm gonna kind of walk through and kind of showcase how some of these work. So with this is gonna be magic audio. You can transform audio into studio quality audio. So by clicking right here, you would simply just upload a file or of course, if you've already done a project, this is what works really well with Riverside. A lot of the things are gonna be based around the projects that you created. However, if you had an old YouTube video or maybe just a clip that was, you know, in MP3, you can drag and drop in there and of course apply that magic audio. I've already done that so we don't have to wait. So allow me to actually go to that and I'll show you how it works. All right, so this was an example of a YouTube video that I did. How much does it cost to host a website? I turned it into an MP3 and just simply uploaded it. As you can see here, there's gonna be a transcript, we got show notes, and there's a few other things that we can do with it, but I'll show you that in another example. So let's say for this, we wanna check out the show notes, which is pretty cool in my opinion, by clicking on it there. What we can do is go, there's gonna be some tips, but it talks about the keywords, the summary, the takeaways, titles, sound bites, and of course, chapters. And you're gonna see this throughout, like if this was good or bad. There is gonna be one section that definitely gets the thumbs down. For me personally, your mileage may vary, but we will get to that shortly, okay? So that's gonna kinda look be what it looks like when it comes to getting the show notes something once again i want to keep in mind exported files will have higher quality so if you preview them or if it's a video and it doesn't look as great that's going to be the reason why this will talk over me so i am not going to play this i will play a separate one so let's go back to the projects and show you what else you can do when it comes to using riverside fm 
So you saw some show notes there. I also want to highlight magic clips. I feel this is going to be a very popular feature. You can generate social shorts from longer videos. That's a tongue twister. Social shorts, social short. Say that five times fast. I'm not going to do it, but let's click on magic clips right here. And it's going to be the same process. And ideally you can get them right from my projects. If you've already created a video using Riverside, or you can just go back and upload that. Once again, I already uploaded one for you. Let's take a look at the process here when it comes to generating magic clips. So here is going to be the actual project right here. This is gonna be the video that was uploaded right here. Create with AI, you can edit, but if you'll scroll down, you're gonna see we have magic clips, full episode, edit from scratch. We can go right here and be powered by AI, instantly get clips of the best moments from your recording. So we can click right here. All right, and we can go here and change things around if needed. Let's say this was gonna be for YouTube. We have our layout right here. I think that's going to be fine. The duration's gonna be auto. You can turn on or off brand. It's really up to you, but let's say we wanna click on save. And for this, let's just say we want the duration to be under 30 seconds. We don't need them to be too long, right? Say if this was gonna be on TikTok or you know Instagram. And let's focus on the speaker. That's gonna be me and generate clips. All right, and so as you can see, if we go down over to the side here, there's gonna be multiple clips that have been edited, and we can just click on one to see how they work. We can do freebie seekers on solo ads. Let's do edit. All right, and this is gonna be this specific section, which is gonna be, I just lost it, so 19 seconds right here. This is gonna be a look at the editor, and it's pretty straightforward. At the bottom, we have our timeline, and the AI producer, I think, is gonna be the best part of it. You can automatically remove pauses. You can remove filler words. In this one, there, I guess there didn't happen to be any, but I use ums and ahs a lot, so if you do as well, they can automatically remove them for you. They can also find fluff and remove it if they feel like something is off topic, or maybe if you ramble on too much when you start talking about something, Riverside will go in and say like, this probably shouldn't be here. But the good thing about it, it'll highlight it first and say like, do you wanna keep it or remove it? It doesn't just remove it without your permission. So that's a good thing. We have magic audio where you can get studio quality sound and we have smart mute. So you can mute people when they're not talking to remove ambient noise and ensure the speaker is heard clearly. So that could be good if there's multiple people. But a lot of these are some nice little uh, features here that I think you're really gonna like. Very quickly, let me just turn the volume up. I'll play this for a little just so you can see what it looks like. And let's hit play. When it comes to solo ads, the amount of freebie seekers that are on there is absolutely astonishing who want a ton of crap for nothing. And when I say crap, I don't mean like crappy, you know, products and stuff, but there's a lot of water. They want a lot of free, okay? Uh-oh, I sweared. YouTube's gonna get me. All right, so let's, let's go back. There's also gonna be like the ability to add captions if you wanna do that. So we can just click right here and pop those in there. And let's just say we want to move it right here. And that's going to be an example of just adding captions to it. Like I said, plenty of other things that you can do with it, whether it's going to be music, images, videos, and so on and so forth. The export is going to be your best friend when you are done. Of course, changing around the aspect ratio, there is the magical undo button. Thank you for that. I have seen software that doesn't have the undo. I mean, what current year is it? Wow, I look weird. <laughs> let's just do this a little bit better. But anyway... It's, it's great that they have that as basic as it sounds. It's not cool when specific softwares don't have an undo button, then you just gotta like back out, make sure you didn't save it. And this is an example of me rambling that I could probably certainly cut out, but I'm gonna stop it there. That's just a quick look at the editor. It's very straightforward and uh, I think you'll like it as well. All right, so we've taken a look at the magic audio. There's some magic clips that you can do a lot more with as well. Show notes, which is gonna be very similar to kind of like transcriptions. Captions, we added some of those as well. There's the transcriptions. And then of course is the AI voice. Oh boy. All right, so this allows you to convert text to speech and thank goodness that it is still in beta, okay? I will say that. Now for me personally, my experience with tutorialing this and demoing this, it didn't come out that great. And you know what? I think it's a good thing that they're still in beta because that means there's probably gonna be a lot of room for improvement, okay? So ideally, how it works right here, it says, your recordings are never used to train AI. We use your last recording to recreate only your voice and only if you click generate. So I have done that previously. And what I did is put in like a very quick sentence about solo ads. It's already gone and done its thing, so I'm gonna go back in my projects, open it up, and you can be the judge and tell me what you think about it. 
All right, so here we are. And as it talks about, once again, exported files will be higher quality. Nevertheless, I'm gonna click play and you can listen to quote unquote me talk, okay? So should you use solo ads in 2025? I think not. All right, so aside from the fact that I probably should have put a comma in there and it kind of just ran on, it sounds like 5% of me. Like I, I can hear a little bit of me, but like if I wanted to pass that off as being my own voice, I would never use it. It's just not good enough. So that's where I talked about like it is still in beta, so I'm not going to be as hard about it. Um, but for me personally, there was a section down here where it says thumbs up or thumbs down. What do you think? I gave him the thumbs down. I said it needs some feedback or excuse me, it needs some work, but that's been a, at least a little bit of a minor flaw with me. But once again, not a huge one still given the fact it is in beta. So aside from having the ability to create some AI voiceovers that do need a little bit of tinkering with on the opposite side, their pricing is pretty stress-free and quite valuable for what they have to offer. They do come with the free plan, which I initially talked about. Don't expect the moon to come along with this, but it is a free plan enough to kind of get you interested in what they have to offer. You do get two hours, uh, you get 720 video quality, and you're getting their beautiful Riverside watermark tattooed on all your things. However, of course, upon upgrading, there will be no watermark. It is all you. 4K video quality, five hours. When you're looking at, ideally, you're looking at $19 per month versus 29. There are gonna be some add-ons available with Live Studio for 15 plus on each of these, but you're not exactly breaking the bank and they do provide a good amount of value for the features and perks that they do offer. So let's conclude this Riverside.fm review. So Riverside.fm is like that one friend who actually shows up on time and does exactly what they promised. If you're in the podcasting game, it's definitely an easy win, but don't sleep on it if you're a content marketer, video creator, or someone who just wants to record crisp video without wanting to smash your keyboard. The pricing, simple, transparent, no calculator needed there. The AI voiceover feature though, ugh, let's just say it's, uh, it's like an intern still learning the ropes. Slow and awkward, but hey, it's in beta. Fingers crossed that it gets upgraded and polished pretty soon, right? But if you're serious about high quality recording and editing, Riverside.fm gets the job done with minimal drama. And you can click the link down below to try them for free and see just how much you like them today. And that's going to conclude this Riverside.fm review. I hope you got some value out of it. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and enjoy.